a broken liver, the result of cold tyres, not enough sleep, and an oily road. But most of all, my lack of throttle control. Let's forget that last point though and focus on the oily road. Now for my ego's sake, let's say the road looked like this, when in reality, it probably looked like this. The tools you'll need will be a 10mm socket, 4mm uh, hex or allen key, ratchet, some multi-purpose grease, and that's it. So we're going to start with the clutch side because that's the one that I snapped. And if you look directly underneath this little pivot bolt, there's a 10mm uh, nut. So we're going to start by undoing that. You might have to put your thumb over this uh, little bolt to stop it from spinning. Get the little nut off and you should be able to put your thumb underneath and pop that bolt out. After that bolt comes out, be careful when pulling the lever back because there's a little spacer in here we don't want to lose. So all we have to do is pull backwards and it'll pop off like that. Now, you'll see underneath that you want to get this gap in the adjuster to line up with the cable and the lever. So when you twist it this way, you can just pop the little ball out. So if you look underneath, that's what it looks like and you're trying to line the cable up with this gap and then pop it out. I'm just going to work it with a bit of uh, like a flathead screwdriver or the end of needle nose pliers, something like that. There you go. So we have a look. There's a little spacer here. You want to pop that out because that's going to go in the new lever. Okay, so now this is a good time to replace all of the old grease on there. That might have got some dirt and water and so on in there. So we'll clean this spacer up. There you go. Put new grease on it and pop it back in the lever. Just using some of this multi purpose grease. Just get a little bit on the end. Spread it around evenly. Pop that in. We'll clean up the inside as well. And we'll put fresh grease in there. and just the outside of the lever as well. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get the end of this clutch cable and pop that into the same uh, recessed gap. That's the last lever. Turn it around while making sure it stays in that gap. And then work it back into the hole. Okay. Now we'll get the bolt that I had before. I cleaned it and re-greased it. Line it up with the spacer and the hole. Work it in there. and then put the nut on the other end. And 
and one last thing, don't forget to turn the adjuster back to a position of where it was so that the lever has a tiny bit of play so it's not pulling on the clutch but so that it's not completely rigid. There you go, tiny bit of play. Now with the brake side, it's a little bit different with this R model because we have the Brembo master cylinder. So we're going to get the 4mm Allen and the 10mm socket to just hold the bottom in place with our fingers. We'll undo this side. these back together so we don't lose them. Now I want you to pay very close attention to what's about to come out of the master cylinder. That little knob there is what actually pushes the piston in to cause the brakes to actually uh, close. And I'll show you why that's important on the new lever. Okay so on the new lever in that place they've given this little one that slides in here but it also unscrews so what I'm gonna do is put a tiny bit of Loctite on that because I don't trust these eBay levers okay so I'm using this uh, medium strength Loctite so undo the screw just one dab on the corner will do back in so again anything that has a moving part we're putting a bit of grease on that goes in to here on the lever can you guys see this that crusty bit of dried out grease yep we're cleaning all of that and putting new grease in Cleaning the original bolt that went in as well. New grease on that. Okay, so the lever goes in. But we want to make sure that this little bit fits into its grommet perfectly. Without bending or creasing the grommet. Then this bolt goes in. and now the nut on the bottom. Working brakes.